COVID hit, businesses went virtual, and now research is showing that employees are more productive remote than in the office. Is remote work here to stay? Let's talk about that. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, your go-to place for building your dream career and achieving your highest potential. I'm Allie and today we have another segment of FTL where I discuss an interesting topic in hopes it gives you just a little something to chew on after we leave this video. And for today, we're going to be discussing remote work, specifically post-COVID-19. Because of COVID-19, many businesses were forced to go virtual. Funny enough, researchers and practitioners have actually been trying to get companies to experiment with this option for years now, if not decades. Just because of the fact that remote work offers coworkers the option to save time, money, as well as gives them some much needed autonomy. As you can imagine, companies were against this in the very beginning just because they felt that they couldn't trust their employees and that they were unproductive when at home. And in fact, before COVID-19 happened, only 11% of the US workforce were working remotely. And now with COVID, we're starting to get a more diverse opinion about what remote work is like. And now we're starting to find that employees might actually agree with organizations. Not only do they miss being in an office environment, but they find that it's much easier to interact with and collaborate with their coworkers, as well as just being in an office setting helps them be more accountable. So we're starting to get a diverse range of opinions here, some subjective opinions about what's going on with remote work. But it really leaves a question of what do the numbers say? Overall, we're finding general support for the idea of remote work. Research is showing that employees tend to be more productive when they work virtually. In addition, they tend to be more satisfied and committed to the job. There was even one study that assessed 16,000 workers and found that over a nine month period, there was a 13% increase in productivity. However, as you can imagine, it's not that clear cut. We're also finding that there are several other factors we have to consider when we're looking at these findings. For example, yes, we are generally finding that employees that work virtually tend to have a greater work non-work balance, but we're also finding that it's dependent on several factors. For example, how many people live in that household and how big is the house? How much space do they have that they can dedicate to an office space? And as you can imagine, people had a greater work non-work balance if they had fewer people living in the house and more space that could be dedicated to work. In addition to that, we're also finding that employees are clocking in 1.4 days more per month in terms of their work hours. And so this one is particularly interesting because it might also explain why employees are reporting being more productive over time. It's because they're working more. So this raises a couple concerns because it might actually be a negative to work remotely. When we're talking about productivity, for example, if employees are working longer, even though they might not be burnt out now, Give it about a year and they'll start to be burnt out. They'll start to be stressed out from the job. And so we might just be seeing a honeymoon phase of remote work, especially since a greater number of people are now doing it. And so this really raises the question of, should we go remote? Once we return back to normal, should we encourage remote work? So I'll be honest, as of right now, this evidence is inconclusive. There are still too many unknowns that need to be clarified. For example, we're still in the beginning stages of remote work. We're in the honeymoon phase, and so we might see different results one to two years from now. On top of that, there's still some concerns about the study designs, namely that many of the findings that we're seeing are based off a of subjective opinion. In other words, it's based off of the opinions of employees. And so when I'm saying that employees are more productive, most studies are showing that it's because employees feel they are more productive, not that they actually are. And so if we're gonna say the remote work is better than working in the office, we need to start collecting objective data, actual numbers to show that employees are indeed more productive. Nonetheless, that doesn't mean we should just negate the idea of remote work once we return to normal. In fact, I think that the best option would be adopting a hybrid model. It's a win-win for everybody. Allow people to come in some days in the office and then allow them to work at home in the other days. It's all just gonna really depend on your company. So to help your company figure out whether or not you should adopt this hybrid model, I wanna give you four key factors that you should consider. As to the first factor, you wanna consider the tasks being performed. Every job is different, and so you are gonna to have to look at every job to see whether or not the task being performed can be done at home. 
And so you have a range of tasks you have to consider from time, service, as well as automated tasks. Is this something that employees can do just as well at home? If they have to use equipment, can they bring that equipment home with them? And if not, then perhaps it might be better for them to work in the office. But one of the first things that you should consider is just the task being performed. Can it be done virtually just as well as if they were in the office? Next, you wanna consider clients and customers' reactions. What do they think about virtual work? Are they okay once COVID passes to interact with your employees online and seeing the workspace that they have behind them? Are they gonna be okay with seeing a home setting instead of an office setting? And so really take a look at what your customers and clients are saying to determine whether or not it would actually hurt your business or not to have your workers working from home, especially if it is a service-based company. As for the next thing, you want to consider your employees' needs and accommodations. Every employee is unique, and so you need to look into their individual situation to see whether or not it would be better if they worked virtually. For example, do they have any family needs? Do they need to take care of their family? How about travel? There are some people who commute 60 minutes to 90 minutes to work. Maybe for those people, it would be better if they worked home more often because when you're freeing up their time and easing some of their stress, they're not able to invest that energy, invest that time back into work, which means they are gonna be more productive. So just look into your employees' needs and accommodate to them accordingly. As for the last thing you need to consider, it's just the amount of training you need to invest in training your remote workers, as well as the time it's gonna to take to streamline that process so that way it's not hindering your business. Now, hopefully because of COVID-19, you've already worked out these kinks, but if you haven't, then that is something that you need to consider. How long does it take to train your employees and how long does it take for them to be efficient so that it isn't hindering their work in the end? So you need to consider training and the length it's going to take to streamline the process. And there you have it, my thoughts on whether or not you should go remote following COVID-19. Overall, research is inconclusive in terms of whether or not remote work is actually better than working in the office. But regardless of those findings, I do believe that companies should consider a hybrid work model in that they allow their workers to work both at home and in the office. And whether or not this would be a good option to you is really dependent on several factors. And so use the factors that I list to determine whether or not this is a good option for your company. And now I'm gonna hand it over to you all. What do you think about today's video? What are your thoughts about remote work? Do you think it's here to stay? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. I'm curious about what you think. If you love what we talk about today, then make sure you head over to my Q&A video where I discuss some trends we might see following COVID-19. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified of my latest videos and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure having you all today. Until we meet again, everyone. Take it easy. Bye.